so everybody said, oh, you ain't going to find anybody that is uh, got the tenacity and the testicle fortitude to serve the man that you wish to serve because he's a judge or he acts as a judge. Acting as a judge and actually being a judge are two different things. If he conducted himself as a judge, I wouldn't have had to serve him today. But the process of service has been executed. So when there's a will, where there's a will, there is a way. Now later on, I may share with you, I will share with you, what I served upon the man who at times acts like a judge, all right? Just like sometimes you can act like an asshole, doesn't mean you are an asshole, just means like you act like an asshole, at times he acts like a judge. And I got him served today by somebody who had a set of nuts. That was great. So, my next thing is this beautiful little ditty right here, which is all backwards because the camera's backwards. But that's the next thing that happens. And how do we execute it? With these things right here. Yeah, baby. That's how you hold public officials accountable. And I'm not going after him in his official capacity. I've already spoken with the Attorney General's office here in Indianapolis. And uh, I've already assured them that uh, I'm not going to sue the state or the county thus far for what that man did in his private capacity operating outside of his scope of delegation of authority absent any proof of an actual oath of office equity imputes an intention to fulfill an obligation so you know we accept their article 6 oath we accept their title 101 uh, title 4 subsection 101 oath we accept their uh State constitutional. Oh, somebody took it in the keister. Ooh, ooh, Lord have mercy. Didn't even give him a reach around. Ain't that sad? Horrible. Anyway, car accident. Um, nevertheless, it can be done. Don't be discouraged. They don't make it easy. But where there is a will, there is a way. So, this man has now been officially served as a man, not as a judge, as a man, for his wrong, his trespass against I, which are numerous. I didn't include under the color of law, deprivation of rights under the color of law, denial of due process. That's all stuff that I can amend to my federal tort claim, which will be held in the Gonzalez court, okay? And the Gonzalez court will have rules. And the administrator, which is effectively a referee, will ensure the rules of the Gonzalez court are upheld in the Southern District of Indiana, the federal court of the Southern District of Indiana, where we will be before a magistrate, an Article Three, Subsection 2, Subpart 1, Qualified Chancellor, all right, will be very fluent with the rules of the court because I will duly inform them of the rules of the Gonzalez court. And the rules of the Gonzalez court are very simple. The jury is judge, jury, and executioner of the facts, the law, and the award, period. And no one can testify in the Gonzalez court without having first-hand perfected superior knowledge and willing to be de uh, 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 deposed under the pains and penalties of perjury facing one year in jail and a $10,000 fine. You see how that works. The uh, other stipulation, the other rule of the court, you might say, could be that each exhibit must be ruled on by the jury, whether it's got merit, standing, fact, law and is applicable so instead of putting all your eggs in one basket let's just say you bring in a claim for trespass that caused I a man harm by way of extortion but that also led to a trespass by way of 
unlawful arrest, which also led into a trespass by false imprisonment. Each one is a separate claim. Each one will be introduced as an exhibit as we go along that the jury will have to make a ruling on. If this, then that, right? If he stopped him without merit and without warrant, then that's an unlawful detainment. An unlawful arrest has occurred. And during that unlawful arrest that, that the jury's already established, it was an unlawful arrest because it was without warrant, without a grand jury indictment. And the next thing is uh, false imprisonment. There's the next charge that comes about. You know, the next claim. I should have went down to a light. Oh, well. But anyway, I just wanted to keep you guys up to date. I'm still alive. I haven't sent out an assassin yet. But my next move is the man that was served today has 21 days to remain in honor. 21 days to give any lawful excuse to exonerate himself. If in after 21 days he has no lawful excuse for his actions as a private man accosting another man against his will, which I believe none exist, he will acquiesce by tacit agreement and agrees to come down to the Gonzalez court. We'll skip on down to uh, the Gonzalez court that will be held in the district court of Indianapolis, the Southern District Court. And that's how you do that. Now, when I went to the uh, District Court of Southern Indiana, they said, oh, we got what you need. You need to file this complaint form. I don't make complaints. I make claims. Well, yep. Right in the keister. Oof. Lord have mercy. That's horrible. People don't pay attention. I bet they were licensed, too. <laughs> Horrible. I'm gonna turn right. All right, give me a second here. People like to hang out in the blind spots. So, if you pay attention and watch these videos that I do for free, you can learn how to hold your public officials accountable too. So now I'm going to start collecting evidence. I already got an abundance of evidence. I had over 12 witnesses in the courtroom when uh, this man, Scott, acted outside his scope of authority without a delegation of authority to operate outside of Washington, D.C., attempting to hold a private military tribunal where he was a judge, jury, and executioner of his own claim, which is a, which is a wrong, it's a trespass, a denial of due process of law. And... So like Mr. Anonymous says, he goes, well then, what, what's your next step? You know, you, you run around like a vigilante. He says, you should be reporting this to the agencies. The problem is, I've dealt with the FBI before. They are lame, jive turkeys. Lame, lame as lame gets. The only time they got any interest is when they can profit by putting somebody else in jail that don't work for or isn't affiliated with their government entity. They don't give a shit about the people making claims against rogue agents and agency that work for a de facto corporation. They don't care. They're not there to protect you. They're not there to help you. They're not there to save you. And so, although I will file and lodge the evidence that I have, I don't anticipate that anything will be done. And then it opens up the FBI for a claim against them because when they know, when, 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 a, when a felony a foot has been reported to them and they do nothing, well then they can become an accessory after the fact. That opens up a whole nother ball of worms where you're always involved in suit. I don't want to do that. I want to find quick remedy because as a man, all we can ask for is remedy and that it be swift, just, and fair. So now that old Scott got served, 21 days, tick tock, clock goes. But before the end of the 21 days, I will have lodged in the federal court system my claim and cause of action, which I will amend throughout the process, never doing any amendment 
will only be a couple sentences long. It'll never be everything filed all into one basket. Because remember, if they find one discrepancy in your document, up, oh, strike it from the record. Now you're screwed. Where are you wanting to go? The post office. Oh, the other post office. Okay, we'll try it. Probably won't work considering we just went to the largest post office. And they couldn't do it. Uh huh. So, with that said, don't give up hope. Where there is a will, there is a way. Follow people that take action, not people that are just squawking to squawk. You know, a lot of people just talk. They don't actually do anything. Um, so I appreciate you being on my journey with me and seeing what's transpiring and how it develops and where we go from here. A lot of lawyers will discourage you from trying this, saying, oh, we'll get you for practicing law. Well, here's the problem, Scooter. I don't practice law. The law has been well established. I merely enforce the law. There ain't no practicing going on over here. I only have three duties. Make an observation, create a record, and report it. That's it. Real simple. Real simple stuff. Now, I'll collect all these affidavits, which I've already done. i got a few more to do. An affidavit is not truth and fact in law just because it's unrebutted. It's still nothing more than hearsay until deposition is had. All right? So we've got to schedule a deposition. Get all these people deposed. But what I like to do with affidavits... Is I like to put them on the uh, I like to put them on the public record. I like to go re record them on the miscellaneous land record. Now they're a matter of public record. I just created a record. I like doing that before I hand them off to the AG and the Internal Affairs and the Office of Inspector General and the Secret Service. I like to create my record and make sure that it's recorded on the miscellaneous land record in a book and page. Now, nobody ever told me to do that. I just started doing that because, well, I need to make my own record. These people create a record. I just hate cities. I can't stand cities. They drive me nuts. Concrete palaces drive me absolutely nuts. This is like being a barnyard pimp at a testicle festival. I mean, it is horrible around here. They're running around like chickens with their head cut off. Everybody's in a hurry. It drives me absolutely insane to be in a concrete palace. All right, anyway, I'll let you guys go. Keep your shit wired tight and your head on a swivel. Know that when there's a will, there is a way. You can serve people who act as judges. It is plausible. It is possible. You can do it. And it's not an act of vigilanteism. It's... Uh, more along the lines of seeking remedy because once a trespass has occurred, ladies and gentlemen, it remains a trespass until remedy is had. So with that said, I'll do a video a little later on today. I will share with you the construct of the document that was created and manifested into existence because of the wrongdoer and what has transpired to uh, we, us, and our posterity by one wrongdoer trespassing against I and my unalienable rights as a man, not in any other form or capacity. Um, I, I'm step away from their fiction and I bring them into reality. See, in legal land, you can do all kinds of fictional horse crap, but in uh, in reality, you strip them of that ability, and that's what I'm doing. Taking them out of legal land and bringing them back to, dare I say, a law common to I. Which works. It absolutely works. It's it's written so simplistically that there is no there's no way they're gonna have that if we're going there. <laughs> this is the smallest little post office. Anyway, I gotta go into the post office because uh, you know when we uh, register mail things to the federal court system, we want to fill out a 3806. Let them know that we mean business, and we're gonna do it through registered mail to ensure that. Uh, if the clerk of the federal district court decides to tamper with mail matter, ooh, now we got federal witnesses to it. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Later.